In this tutorial, we will create a burnt paper text effect in Photoshop. Okay. Let's go. To start, we create the background. Choose a solid color as the background color and enter the color code of your choice. Next, we add our texture for added aesthetics. We change the layer mode to overlay to match the background color. We want to add a dark colored shadow around the background. To do this, select the gradient tool. Follow the tutorial to proceed. The background creation steps are complete. We select the layers and place them in a folder. Finally, we lock the layers to keep them fixed in place. The main step begins. Type your desired text using the type tool. The font link and images used in this tutorial are available in the description, and you can easily download them in a zip file. Change the text layer to a smart object and then, using Ctrl plus J, we duplicate it three times. Turn off the visibility of the top two layers. Add your burnt paper texture. Adjust its position. And press, Ctrl, while clicking on the layer to select around the image. Then, go to the text layer and mask it. Now hold the Alt key and click between the two layers once to clip them together. Put them in a folder so they don't interfere with other layers. Repeat this process for the subsequent layers as well. To make the papers look more natural, add a bit of shadow beneath them. Firstly, place the layers you created into a folder and choose Blending Options. Select Drop Shadow, and specify the angle and intensity of the shadow. Here is the final result. Now, you can easily write any text you desire using the third layer and make use of this beautiful effect. To do this, you double-click on the layer and in the new window that opens, type your desired text. After making the changes you want, go to the File menu, Save, to apply the changes. And this is the final result of this tutorial. You can download this image from the link provided in the description. Support us by subscribing and liking. Also, leave your questions in the comments. See you, in the next tutorial.